good. Okay. Making this video, I'll show y'all how I made this beat called Feel So Good. And this is pretty much everything I did to it so far. Actually, it's already done. This is everything I did to it. And it looks like that. Take y'all step by step how I even made this beat in the first place. So, but I am going to show y'all something first though. Because <clears throat> I challenge anybody citrus that got as much stuff as this. <laughs> this is a whole entire citrus. I mean, it's a lot. Look how long it's going to take me to get through it. Yeah, Hands getting tired, nigga. Oh, I got to wrestle with me. Hands getting tired. And it just keeps going. Hands tired again. <laughs> and it keep going. Hands tired again. My, my hands is real tired. I'm almost there. Come on, you can do it. Uh, uh. There we go. That's a whole entire situation. I pretty much used to... Um, Pretty much just used a seven major. That's all. You can um, you can go right here, and you can select where's that seven major at? That's minor seven, right here. That's all I use right here. I use a seven major, and then that's how I came up with the beat. And <clears throat> it sounded like this. Oh, I got the tempo at sixty two, so. It brings out more of the sound. So I got the tempo set at 62. I was like, when I'm making slow beats, I was putting them in the 60s. But it, to me, it sounds better. Then I got the, the bell glass. Once again, that's up, <laughs> that's up in the Nexus too. And let's check it out. The same thing, I used the 7 major for it too. I used to do. I just I just combine multiples of sounds together to make it sound even better. That's all I do. Then next we got a, a flash or art, and that's in that's in my citrus too. And let's see how this goes. <laughs> And if you notice, that's all I did. I just copied patterns and stuff. But so when it got to the lead and stuff, then I created my own lead to it. But this right here, you know, here it is to like the chorus. This called the own, but own bottle. And see, here's how it sounds. Next we got, let's see. Then after that, just percussions. You got that's the crash hats, and you got open hats. Then what else we got? The hard tempos. A lot of people don't use these. I use these myself though. I love the Jamaican snares. Like I pretty much, I use the majority of my beats and stuff. The snap. Then we got hi hats. Let's see what else you got, 808s. Now for this one I used two different 808s. One of them I used to sub, and the other one I used a regular 808. I wanted it to be unique, so what I did, I just used two of them, so. You'll notice the sound difference. Like this like the lighter 808. And that's all it pretty is, just a lighter effect of the 808. And then, there's some down here, it's the heavier 808. 
You know what I'm saying? It's the heavier. Because I, I don't do it. Like the way I be doing stuff is I do it to where like I don't use the same 808 and then try to make a low sound and a high sound. So like that, I use two or three 808s. Y'all yeah, use one for the low. Use one for the um the deep sound. Then I probably use one for like the effects, the lighter lighter sound and stuff like that. But that's what I normally do. And let's see the kicks. Normally I have like two kicks, but in this case I just use one kick. show you how I did the kicks. I know I've been getting a lot of people asking me how I be doing my kicks, so I'm going to show y'all one of my secrets. But you don't do this to like every beat you do, because every beat is different, so you always want to keep constantly changing it up in your kicks. But what I normally do, I turn this up right here. You know, maybe like in between there and between there, probably like halfway. And then I use a parametric EQ. And then see what I, that darkness right there that dark pink i just put that one right there sometimes i'll just throw it right here and put a two right there it all depends on what i'm going for in the beat and then i use this maximus maximus i'll be using if you've been watching my videos i always use the kick pump i always use the kick pump for my kicks and then i put a sound glass on there and i put it on number b i don't change this i'll leave this alone the only thing I change is the A to the B. That's all I do. And then, for, and then I use a wave shaper. Because originally the wave didn't start right here. So I, I just go straight up with it and go right here. That's all I do. It makes the kicks hit even harder. It makes it sound better, dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? You get that hard banging kick sound. That's what everybody likes. You know, same thing for my, um, my subs. Um, I use a pretty much. I use a. Well, I use a slam app master. That's all I use for uh, subs. Then I use um, a compressor. I compress it too. So there's my compressor our ratios and all that stuff. I'm using that. But like I said, don't do this to every beat because it won't. Everything is not gonna sound the same. You know, I'm just showing y'all examples of what I be doing. You know. And this one right here to cover all that stuff. I'm gonna go to uh, go to LRS real quick. That's what I'll be doing. And you know, same thing for this one. I'll turn it up a little bit. And then I do the same thing for this one. Sometimes I don't turn it up. But, like I said before, you know, don't do the same settings for every beat. Dude. You got to switch up every beat you make. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you don't want to do that because you might throw off your whole entire mix like that. You know what I'm saying? By making everything the same EQ on every beat, don't do that. Because everything going to be different. Sometimes a beat might need a little more kick power. Some beats you might make, you might not need that much kick power. You know what I'm saying? So, don't do not do that. <laughs> But in that, you know, that's pretty much how I made the beat, so, um, how I mastered it, I just mastered it by using a Fruity Blood Overdrive, and turned it up like halfway, then, just the settings I got it on, it's just regular settings, I just turned it up halfway, um, mastered it with Maximus, I mean, I just pretty much got that right there, mids got him right there, see that, that one, and highs all through the line. But you see, I'm always got my highs turned towards the left. Mids, you know what I'm saying, kind of out there. You know what I'm saying? Kicks all the way to the right. I don't know if that's great. My kick man right there, but that's how I got it. And that's pretty much how I did everything. And the fruity limiter, I just, I don't know, I just left it alone. And that's about it. So, well. This how I made the beat, so get in that comment box, subscribe, you know what I'm saying, subscribe to my YouTube page. It's your boy Boss and Belly, Boss Music Beats, and I'm out. Boss Music.